And Contact Denver 7 is looking for answers in an art theft mystery. So you may recognize the fine art photographs of Christopher Buffoli, which often feature tiny figurines and food. And now after a complicated con, one of his most famous works is missing. And its last known location was right here in Denver. Our consumer investigative reporter Jacqueline Allen was intrigued by this story and is digging for clues. It's not every day I try to track down a work of art, but this famous photo called Champagne Scuba has gone missing in a nationwide scheme ending in Denver, Colorado. I'm best known for a series of photographs with tiny little figures that are photographed against food. Christopher Buffoli, a Seattle-based artist, says it all started last December at this art gallery in Boston. So the guy ended up buying three photographs to, you know, the tune of about $10,000. Receipts show a man going by Gib Gazanin bought the final edition of Champagne Scuba, which FedEx shipped to Denver before everything went sideways. In an elaborate scheme, the buyer asked for credit card refunds on the other two photographs, so those were never shipped. Weeks later, this Seattle police report states the gallery found out the buyer's credit cards were stolen. Long story short, the gallery and Buffoli are out $3,500 and Champagne Scuba has disappeared. Where do you think this photograph is now? It was stolen. It was sold. Resold for some money. Aurora private investigator Sammy Swearingen was hired by Buffoli. This is my first art case, actually. <laughs> this is my first art case, and this has been pretty interesting. Her firm has been trying to track down Gib Gazanin at Deco Apartments on South Colorado Boulevard. We went there too, but the general manager tells us they can't confirm the resident lives there or comment about the work of art. We started, we started using that name, nothing. We used variations of that name, nothing. Nothing came up. While she tracks down more leads, the artist wants other art galleries to know about this con. And he's holding out hope his photo will turn up. Why did you reach out to Contact Inversa? It makes me feel a little better um, to just tell the story and to let people know this is happening. Maybe there's somebody in the apartment that, will, that knows this guy or uh, is in this building, will see this piece of work and say, hey, that's, I, I, I've seen that, I saw that on television. So um, getting the word out is never a bad thing. For Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen.